Hello, hello, it's me, Jeanette. How are you? Hope you've been well. In today's video, I wanted to do a quick flip through of my everything notebook. And my everything notebook is just a mixed media notebook with blank pages inside. Well, it started out with blank pages. And then I have been filling this up with pretty much everything and anything. And I've been loving the process because usually I have one notebook for different things. So like a notebook for documenting, a notebook for doodling, a notebook for my watercoloring, but this one I decided to just do everything in one notebook. It's been really helpful to have everything just in one notebook because when the inspiration hits then I can just grab my notebook and just do whatever is on my mind. And so the first two pages that you saw, all that is just some collages that I tried to make with different die cuts that I had and sentiment cards and some journaling cards and stuff like that and I also added some watercolor but I didn't finish them, they're just kind of half done, so I can always go back and complete those pages. So this here is my first entry for Inktober, and in case you don't know what Inktober is, it's just a fun drawing challenge, daily drawing challenge for the month of October. I actually started it, did I start it now in October? At first I did, I started it on October 1st, so I was really proud of that, but I didn't realize that there was daily prompts the first drawing was inspired by fall, so it's like all of my favorite fall things, which I absolutely love. I love fall so much. This drawing was sort of my reaction to the horrific tragedy that happened in Las Vegas, and so it's a showgirl that's weeping and an Elvis impersonator that's consoling her. This is a drawing of my morning makeup routine <laughs> and the way that I did all of these drawings was just sketching them with pencil and then outlining them with black marker, sorry, a black drawing pen and then going over them doing the shading with different shades of black watercolor. This is the day that I realized that Inktober actually had daily themes to go by for, you know, the challenge and so the theme for this one was underwater. On this page, I switched things up just a little bit. I wanted to do some watercoloring, and so I did a purple rose bouquet. The daily prompt for this day was long, and so that's me sitting in the back of the bus. I guess that's my view from the back of the bus. And yeah, so it's a long commute, so that's why I drew that. That last drawing was the last entry that I did for Inktober just because I find drawing so much more challenging to me and so I decided to just switch things up a little bit and just focus on watercoloring and practicing watercoloring because it comes so much faster to me and I can do it without concentrating so hard so I can do it while I'm watching a movie instead of just being completely focused on getting the perspective right. So I'm really happy with how these paintings turned out and this girl with the succulents on her head is probably my favorite thing that I have done in a while. I'm really proud of that one. And I'm also really proud of this little sleeping fox, which was inspired by our own sleeping fox, which we sometimes see in our back, like the back, uh, it's not really a parking lot, it's like a carport. And sometimes there's a fox back there sleeping and he is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> And this last painting is a sleepy fall village and it was just inspired by the wonderful season of fall which I absolutely love and oh my goodness I just wanted to say if you are an artist or an art teacher or something like that please don't judge my skills because I've never taken like a drawing class or a painting class so yeah go easy on me. I switched gears completely and ended up going a mixed media route, which I'm really happy about. I recently purchased some gesso and some stencils and some texture paste and a spatula to spread the texture paste, and I am so happy about it. I'm really excited to try to delve into mixed media because I think it's gorgeous and the process is really fun. It's a little messy sometimes, but it's a lot of fun. And I would love to know if you've ever delved into mixed media or what your experience is with that, or if you have any recommendations for me, that would be awesome. So if you have a moment and you can leave a comment and just let me know any like mixed media artists that you follow that I should follow or any tips or tricks about mixed media, that would be amazing. And back to watercoloring. I just love going back to it because it's so easy. All I need is my watercolor palette and my brush with mixed media. You know, I need 
all my supplies and uh, texture paste and my heat tool. And with drawing, I need like an eraser and a pencil and my markers, but with watercoloring, it's just my brush and my watercolor palette and just me practicing while I watch a movie. So I really love it. Well, that's it for today, friends. If you'd like to see more of my crafty projects, then you can head to my blog, which is JeanetteLane.com, or you can catch me on Instagram at JeanetteLaneBlog. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye!